back to the channel. Um, I know you can see the background. It's a different setup because I am still at my parents' house. But I did want to go ahead and get this out to you all because we have officially made it one week post-op. And I am ecstatic. So I didn't want to come to you guys and just let you know how that first week went for me. And also just give you an update on my weight, which I will do at the end of the video. But first, I did just want to go ahead and just let you know how I have been doing so far and what my experience has been. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so I made sure I wrote some notes. So, I'm going to be looking at my phone just to make sure I didn't forget anything when I'm just letting you know exactly how the process went. So, I'm going to start up from me being in the hospital um, when I got home, you know, all the way up to now. So, waking up for surgery, oh my gosh, y'all, I was in so much pain. And to be honest, it wasn't the pain from the incisions, it was the gas pain. And I knew that I was going to experience it, but I didn't think it was going to be to the magnitude because I've had a C-section, and when I have a C-section, I did experience gas pain as well. But baby. This was a different type of pain and what the difference between my c-section also is the fact that I was not put to sleep when it came to the anesthesia so just the gas pain along with waking up from the anesthesia was a lot it was a lot as you all saw I struggled walking to the bed I don't even know how I made it to my bed but I did, and you all can see it if you go back and look at my other video. Um, I'll probably post it somewhere so you all can look at it. But I don't know how I made it, but I did. Um, it was, I couldn't even eat. They bought me some food later on that day, which consisted of, you know, the it was beef broth, um, the little, little diet Luigi, um, Icy. They had that, they had Jello, um, hot tea. Um, I think that was it because at that point they have you only on clear liquids um, I the first day I could not I couldn't do any of it I just tried to drink my water consistently but consistently but that was pretty much all I could do because I was nauseous the entire time every time I would sit up I would start to feel like I had to throw up I would do the deep breaths that was not helping at all and along with all of that y'all my my blood pressure was so high it was so high that the, they were very concerned with my blood pressure and why my pulse was so high um so i couldn't even <clears throat> walk the first day i only walked probably once during the first day and i had to walk with one of the um Oh my gosh, what is it called? With the walker. I had to walk with the walker because the the nausea was so bad and I could barely stand on my own. Um, and it was the nausea, but it was also missed with my blood pressure being so high. So I just felt dizzy and nauseous all at the same time. It was a mess. And I tried to walk again one time. I set up and I started feeling nauseous again and I threw up and I was like, okay, all right. I need to walk <laughs> and I tried to walk and the nurse was like no no you're not you're not doing you're not walking get back in the bed just because my blood pressure was so high so um later on that night I did walk again because I was finally able to walk so I did do that later on that night and my mother was actually still there when I walked and then I walked again after she left um, and then I just stayed at sleep. Um, not really. Because every time I would try to get some sleep, someone would come in and take my vitals. Uh, so I really didn't sleep until like early that morning when doing the, uh, their shift change for the nurses. That's when I actually got some sleep. Now the next day I felt so much better because I could tell that the anesthesia had um, pretty much wore off and my blood pressure was starting to regulate so I was able to eat more and I was able to drink more which allowed them to send me home 
Now, the next thing I'm gonna say may gross y'all out, but I mean, it's a little TMI, but look, I'm here to educate you all because everybody goes through different things when they have this procedure. So I'm just gonna let y'all know, okay? So, yo, right before the lady, the lady lets me know, okay, we can go ahead and let you go. You've been drinking your fluids. You got, um, so, you know, four ounces in an hour. That's great. So we, the doctor said we can go ahead and release you. I said, great. So, you know, she was asking me, have you passed gas yet? I was like, no, mainly just been burping. She's like, okay, great. So she leaves the room. I finally passed gas. I passed, I finally passed some gas and i'm like okay great so i fast gas again i was like oh wait that don't feel like gas so I'm, i get up and i'm literally trying to run to the bathroom and i'm like looking down and i'm like oh my gosh that's blood so i'm literally trying to get to the bathroom as quickly as i can and i get to the bathroom and literally and all that comes out was blood and I was literally panicking that was before my mother had got back to the hospital so I'm calling a nurse telling her to come in because I didn't you know I didn't flush the toilet because they don't want us to flush the toilet because they want to see how much you've gone so I didn't flush the toilet she gets in there and I tell her what happened and she looks and she's like oh my god she was like I have never seen this happen before Mind you, she told me that she has been a nurse for bariatric patients for years. She did it when she was in New York, um, then she moved down here, and she's been taking care of bariatric patients for like 10 years, and she has never seen anything like this. So she immediately uh, reaches out to my doctor. She was like, I promise she was like, I'll be right back. Just let me contact your doctor and see what they want us to do. So I'm over here freaking out. <laughs> My mom finally, I'm calling my mom, and I'm like, Mom, what's, mom, where are you? Where are you? She's like, I'm downstairs. She's like, I'm coming up. So she gets up there, and I tell her what happened, and I tell her that they're, um, we're just waiting for the, to hear back from the doctor to see what they say. And she comes back, and she lets me know that the doctor says, you know, that is normal. Um, since it's not dark, the blood is not dark, um, it's perfectly fine. I can still go home but if it happens again let them know and they'll bring tell me to come back in the hospital I was like okay like I said I've never heard of this I've never I haven't seen anyone talk about that being a side effect but apparently it is and since I've been home that has not happened again um, so came home the next came home that day after they discharged me uh, had still had issues sleeping because of my decisions and because of a little bit of gas pain that I did have left so I struggled to go to sleep the next day um, when you get home that is when you start your full liquid diet the very next day the liquids that I have been eating I've been having the beef broth which is so much better than chicken broth I have to say it because chicken broth just doesn't have any flavor of course you know I you know add my little seasons to it to give it some flavor but I do prefer the, the beef broth because you really don't have to add anything to the beef broth the beef broth it just it tastes good by itself um also what I've been having is um I've been having fall the broth that comes with the fall I've eaten well I've not eaten drank that drank that and Also, what I have is the fall broth that has been amazing. Cause I love fall, so good. I love it, love it. Um, so I was able to get the broth for that. I would just probably, and you know, it's not a lot. So the rest of it would go to my mom or my, or my daughter. They'll, you know, eat the actual fall, but I'll just get some of the broth, and I would drink that, and that was so good. And also, my father actually made some goat water, so. Sorry, y'all who are not familiar with what goat water is. It is so, so, so good. Oh, when I tell y'all I survived off of that for a couple of days, I did not get any footage of it. I apologize because I was just not thinking. I was just so happy to be able to drink that. Oh, God. 
And of course, I did strain it just to, you know, make sure it wasn't no chunks of gold in there. But it was so good. Like y'all, y'all who don't know what gold water is, it's usually it's just gold. It's gold that's cooked in this broth with a whole bunch of nice um, seasonings. And it is so good. I mean, of course, each, uh, every island cooks there is a little different. Um, but I probably have shove it right here so y'all can know exactly what it looks like. But y'all, it's so, 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 so good. Um, so I ate that pretty much so it was all gone. Then I had to go back to the beef broth, which like I said, that was really good. Um, I had got some cream of chicken. As y'all saw earlier, I was eating that as well. In my last video, y'all saw that I was eating the cream of chicken and that was good as well. They have some of the fall broth, um, just to finish it out. Um, and that was amazing as well. So I have to say, I tried to make that, that full liquid phase as good as possible until I was able to I'm able to move on to the soft food phase which I am about to move on to so I just I tried to make it as good as possible because who wants to be eating bland food okay if you're eating bland food and stuff it's just you're gonna be miserable you're gonna you're gonna be miserable and I've seen so many people who are miserable who are wanting to give up who are eating things they're not supposed to be eating and then end up going having dumpy syndrome and I refused for that to be me so I just did everything possible that I could to make sure that everything that I indulged in was flavorful and good and something that I will look forward to having the next day. My scissors look good. I have to say my doctor did an amazing job with my scissors. Um, he did use um, medical grade glue after he stitched them up and those that started to fall off um probably what day four is when it started to fall off but looking at the incisions now they look good they've already started healing um they are some of them are not noticeable others are um, so I will start, you know, getting some bio oil and find some other things that can help, you know, decrease the, uh, the melanin that has built up in that area <laughs> because they have, it has started to darken up in that area. And I know what that is because I, that happens to me. I have eczema and I have really sensitive skin. So when I have my breakouts, sometimes the area where I break out at will turn, get, turn, start to get dark. So that is something that I am familiar with that happens to me. So I'm definitely going to see if there's anything out there that I could possibly use to help, you know, just lighten that area up. But other than that, he did an amazing job stitching me back up. Um, the next thing I definitely did want to talk about is constipation. <sighs> Y'all. I struggled with constipation at the beginning, y'all, so bad. Oh my god, I struggled. I'm gonna let y'all know. I know this is TMI, but I feel like this is stuff that y'all need to know. So, I had not really gone to the bathroom um, Tuesday, which is the 14th, the day leading up to the sur surgery. Um, I really didn't go that day, and I definitely didn't go the day of the surgery, um, at least that the morning of. So I was constipated all the way up until Tuesday, all the way up until Monday of the next week. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was that bad, that bad. And I could feel it, like my stomach was so big because I could not go to the bathroom. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous because y'all, I'm a regular person. I'm very regular okay very so for the fact that i could not go for days on end was very concerning to me so i did pick up some benefiber um well my dad picked up some benefiber for me so i started taking that and nothing was still helping so i went and got some relax and that that helped so that monday yo I woke up in so much pain, so much pain, and I already knew 
it was about to go down. Y'all, I was in that bathroom for like three and a half hours just trying to go because it was not coming. It was not. No point in it. But it was just, it was not. Nothing was coming. And then it finally came. When I tell y'all, I wanted to cry because I was in so much pain. And what I mean by that, I need y'all to think about when y'all drink them Keisha Kyoura teas or the little weight loss teas and all of a sudden you get that feeling that you gotta go and y'all, you see them little memes out about the Keisha Kyoura tea? Yeah. That was me. That was me stuck on that toilet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank goodness that has not happened again. Then I would still be taking my Benefiber. Um still do the Marilax probably or what, every one or two days out the week and I have been going. Now it's not as regular as I'm used to going. Um probably at what every two or three days I've been going to the bathroom, but it has gotten better so far and that I am so grateful for. Um I also did experience some spotting uh when it came to my cycle. I did experience some spotting for about a good three days and then after that it went away. Um they advised me that that is perfectly normal as well. That that is a symptom also. So I started feeling better after that, which I'm so grateful for that that, that passed. Um, but other than that, I have not had any real issues at all, which I am very grateful for. Um, now, I did have my one week checkup already. Um, I actually had that the other yesterday. So I did go to the doctor for my one week checkup. Um, they took my weight. Um, I spoke to the nurse practitioner that is actually who I had my checkup with. And she actually had the um, gastric bypass done. And she looks great. Um, but she did tell me that everything went good. That as far as my weight, that I'm right on track. Um, they did have to do a biopsy on my liver. Which nothing came back for that. Thank goodness. Other than me just having a fatty liver. So I'm grateful for that. Um, they did also do a biopsy for my stomach. Um, you know, the part that they took out. Um, they say that everything came back clear on that, so pretty much, pretty much, they advised me that I'm on track when it comes to the weight loss, as far as me being able to get in all my uh, protein, everything now. So they are very grateful for that. So I have my another checkup my next month, which is my on my follow up, and I have to get some blood work done before I, I have that appointment. So that will be more in depth because at that appointment I will also meet with a nutritionist. To move on to the next step after the soft food phase so grateful that i took this step to make a change in my life it it has been hard because i haven't been able to eat what i want to eat and the fact is that my birthday is coming up <sighs> my birthday is coming up and there's a lot of things that i won't be able to do but one thing i can say is that this is one of the best gifts that i could have given myself um to increase say that this is one of the best gifts that I gave to myself. So, we are now at the part that you all have been waiting for, which is to find out what my weight is. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see that? No. I'm just, did y'all see that? Y'all see that? See, see, see that? What? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Yeah. I am ecstatic that I've lost that much so far. Um, so for my highest weight, which was, which was 288, um, that means that I have lost a total of what, 19 pounds altogether, which is amazing. Um, and from my actual surgery weight, which was 275 to where I am now. That is a good six pounds. So that's what six pounds since I had the surgery, which is amazing, I have to say. Especially since I've been still I've been dealing I was dealing with constipation. So the fact that 
I have lost that much weight so far is amazing and I cannot wait to see what happens next week ah, I just can't wait so that is pretty much all I have to give you guys um well that's pretty much all it that I have to tell you guys um not that much has happened this week but I did just want to let you all know where I am in this journey and if you have any questions or concerns please leave them down in the comments so we can talk about it thank you all for watching and i will see you all there bye <music>